Nikki Wagner. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, I rise to support this Canterbury Earthquake Response and Recovery Bill. And I particularly want to thank Minister Jerry Brownlee and Minister Nick Smith for preparing this bill so quickly and so effectively since the Canterbury Earthquake on the 4th of September. It's indeed a miracle that all Cantabrians have survived one of the worst earthquakes in our country's history. And Canterbury people have responded magnificently to the emergency. As I've knocked on doors in some of the worst areas in Christchurch Central, I've found people seem to say the same conversation. You ask them first, how are you? And they say, we're okay, or we're all right. And within a few seconds, they're saying things like, we're so lucky. And they've all got a reason why they're so lucky. It might be something as simple as the cat's turned up, or it may be that our bedroom's only got one crack in it. And I have to say, the most amazing, courageous uh, elderly people that I came across had a house that was absolutely destroyed. The garden was torn up, there was cracks in the driveway, every room was just almost impassable. And they said, Oh, but we're so lucky. We've got a camper van in the drive and we can drive away any time we like. So that's the sort of spirit that's been coming out from the Canterbury people. And we really, it warms your heart to hear of it. Because every Cantabrian, every family, every organisation has been affected. We're all licking our wounds, but we're all also counting our blessings. And we are all absolutely resolved to restore and rebuild our great region with vigour and with speed. Christchurch and Canterbury are full of can-do Cantabrians and this earthquake response and recovery bill will enable us to move swiftly to begin the long and hard work of restoration and rebuilding so we can all get back to that everyday comfort of business as usual. The bill will allow the region to move seamlessly from the present state of emergency into recovery mode and will provide a mechanism to coordinate re reconstruction. Thousands of New Zealanders from all over the country have rallied to support Canterbury and have worked with us side by side. Thousands of people have worked tirelessly over the last 10 days and we have made great progress. And I want to thank each and every one of them. And we've also already heard mention of young people who've been out there um, giving their time and their energy to the clean-up efforts. There's been a large group of students, about a thousand of them have taken turns digging out some of the worst areas. And there's also been a group called the Marihau Student Army from Marihau High School who've been out there in their neighbourhood doing their bit. And the interesting thing about this is that it's actually raised the spirits of the whole community. I talk to elderly people and they say, have you heard about the students? I feel so much better now that I know that the students are out there. And the interesting thing about these students is they've caught the imagination of the world. The story of those um, mostly university students, has actually gone out globally and it's even been in newspapers in Pakistan and places as far flung as that. So what we've seen is a real rallying of spirit in Christchurch and, a good, and we now have a, a really good feeling for the future of our city and we want to move forward. I've always been a one-eyed Cantabrian. But I have to say, after the last 10 days, I'm very happy to identify as a one-eyed New Zealander as well. Thank you.